All right, everyone, how's it going? Hope you're all having a good day so far, because today's video, we're going to be taking a look into the wonderful and beautiful world of Jeffree Star, a beauty YouTuber who has inspired millions and millions of people across the nation, across the world. He really has showed everyone that you can truly become anything you want to be. Even a liar, apparently. Oh, um... So I just misread the script there, just move on. But if you are not aware and have been living under a rock, Jeffree Star has been receiving a lot of internet beef due to the Davi Vanity situation. Which in case you're not aware of that also, what the hell are you doing? Jeffree Star, the billionaire, and you haven't heard what's going on. Should be ashamed of yourself. Well, that wasn't very nice of me, but let me make it up to you by giving you a quick little rundown before we get into the deeper stuff in this video. <gasps> Davi Vanity, aka Jesus David Torres, the man who started a band known as Blood on the Dance Floor in 2006, which he used as a gateway into an underage community. He has been accused of many, many horrible things over the last decade. It all began with the first victim known as 14-year-old Diane Farrell, who called into a Christian radio show looking for advice. She explained to the hostess that she had been assaulted by a man who went by the name of Davi, however was afraid of getting him into trouble. The police was called to the scene to investigate and Davi Vanity was in fact charged with a lewd and lascivious battery. However, after that, the, the police officers apparently let him go with nothing but a warning. Fantastic! Great service to the country because now Davi Fanny went on to assault another 20 victims. And I have to say, it does somewhat piss me off, but we'll save that later on for in the video. However, this is where Jeffree Star has pulled into the mix due to the fact Jeffree was a close friend of Davi and went off to tour with him and perform on stage. But, ladies and gentlemen, this is when things became very real. When Jeffree posted these tweets I'm gonna speak the truth till I die. We saw blood on the dance floor Davi bring underage girl to his hotel room and do sexual things 100% illegal I no longer support blood on the dance floor and how disgusting Davi is and children enjoying the attention is evil Fuck off sicko being on tour with that child has made me see the truth I regret ever doing a song with that pig rip cuz you'll never be me if you support that piece of shit then unfollow me because you're supporting child Station. Davi is the lowest worthless scum I've ever met. Ah, so very strong words from Jeffrey there. So I think we should hold on to these tweets just for later on in the video. But for now, it's very obvious Jeffrey's making some very heavy accusations towards Davi, claiming to have witnessed him bringing underage girls back to his hotel room to do sexual things. Well, thank you, 2010 Jeffrey. I appreciate the fact you shed light on this scum. Onwards and upwards, as they say. You wonderful love, my brother. Davi Vanity. His new album is out next week. Every Everyone better be getting it. June the 14th. 2012. So, <clears throat> you, you, you see where I'm going with this, right? You see why everyone is currently talking about him. You know, lots of people making videos on Jeffrey. Um, but what I can say right now uh, is Jeff is not the sort of guy you want to piss off. You're no match for him. He's a Sith Lord. Get help, you're no match for him. He's a Sith Lord. But I will be taking a step forward today. Some would say I have massive balls taking this on. And yes, <laughs> you're right, massive. Enough about me, however. Welcome, my friends, to what I can only describe as the dangerous lies of Jeffrey Star. Shit, I totally forgot about the umbrella hat. What the? F ah. Well, that's bad luck. I've opened an umbrella in sight. Watch my c fall off later now. Good evening, one and all. Welcome to Commonsense Credin, where I talk and you listen. Common sense. So, Jeffrey Star, let's talk about something called lying. But of course, you yourself being among the great, that's something you do very often, I can imagine. Don't lie equals good guy. Ah, see, common sense, huh? You're getting the hang of this now, aren't you? But perhaps maybe a couple of white lies here and there. But I think it's very important to note that I don't party. And what I mean by partying is, you guys, is I don't drink alcohol, I don't get wasted. And a lot of you know this about me, but if you are new, hi. I have never tried alcohol before. I know that's going to seem shocking to some people. You know that I'm brutally honest on my channel. I am always keeping it real. Well, Jesus and the donkey that rode him to Jerusalem never tried bloody alcohol. Wow, Jeffrey, you really are God's gift, aren't you? We respect you, Jeffrey. Would never say a lie in your entire life. Well, well, well what's this? I mean, I would have been, of course, if you didn't leave a massive backlog. <laughs> Now, getting serious for a sec, and I'm not exactly sure what the issue is with drinking alcohol, and quite frankly, I couldn't see what the point of lying about it was either. I think if Jeffrey's fans finds out that he drinks alcohol, they're just gonna go completely AWOL and turn upside his house with pitchforks. What the? Jeffrey drinks alcohol? 
<laughs> Jeremy, get the pitchfork! Don't quite see the need to lie about something like that. I mean, that was just one of those pointless lies you never even had to say in the first place. And the whole point of me showing that was just to give a little insight of what we expect on today's session of the Common Sense Cretan. But now moving on to the next topic I'd like to talk about, which is the Chris Hansen situation. The legendary Chris Hansen live stream. Where here, ladies and gentlemen, what can be demonstrated is a man losing the will to live and completely losing control of his own show. Of course, the license was planned in the intent to debunk a lot of the things that was going on, Jeffree Star and Davi Vanti's relationship, and also some of the tweets that Jeffree Star had made in the past, which for some reason was brushed over this entire time. But I think it's only fair, ladies and gentlemen, for the man himself to skim through the live stream and see what we can find. The man himself being me, of course. I control this, bitch. But I was happy that people are finally getting a voice because back in the day i don't think that a lot of people took um things like this serious the subject matter that we're going to discuss today and um everything that he's been accused of people back in the day did not take it as serious as they do now which is so horrible well by the looks of things jeffrey Neither did you. He makes a point that he's glad people are finally starting to take the situation seriously. It just annoys me the way he talks about like, oh, no one took it seriously back then, you know, it was quite normal back then. Now, of course, it's a problem. You know, you were also friends with this man, which tells me straight away that you really never took the entire situation seriously. Oh, it's 2010. Loads of underage girls about. Davy's taking advantage of them. Well, it's not that serious. Let's wait 10 years time, an entire decade, and then let's talk about it, because then it'll be serious. <laughs> yes, Jeffrey, because then it will be serious, wouldn't it? A girl who's identified as being 13 years old and, and okay. for sure underage, and he makes a, a sexual move, I guess you could say, humping or grabbing her. That yeah, way. So and people want to say, because you were on stage when Davi Vanity did this, that somehow you should have reported that and gone to the police and said, Davi Vanity is a predator targeting underage girls. Right. So here's the thing. In those days, and maybe in, in still today's times, in the rock and roll world and the music world, people brought kids, adults, anyone in the crowd on stage to dance and have a good time. Now, him grinding on people, when you look at that now in context and they're underage, yes, it's completely disgusting. But everyone at every single show, whether it was the Blood on the Dance Floor show, my show, um, any rock show, you you grab people on stage, you danced, and you threw them back in the crowd or they jumped back in and, and that was that. Now what Jeffrey's referring to is Davi Vanti grinding on underage girls. And yes, we do actually have proof to that. Can we, uh, can we play the clip for the audience, perhaps? <laughs> ah, just, there's, uh, there's no one there. Isolation affects us in many different ways, people. Let's not judge now. Is the kind of thing Jeffrey was referring to and apparently it was okay back in the days because it was the rock and roll times. Jeffrey, you witnessed Davi Vanity do that to an underage girl on stage. Why didn't you just, just, just stop him? Why didn't you just stop him using the power of the force? After all, you are a Sith Lord, I hear. You know, also Jeffrey, since when was it ever okay to touch an underage girl in that way? Whether it's a, a decade ago or it was tomorrow, when, 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 when? Today, Junior! When was that ever okay? And this is not all, it gets better later on in the video. What just really annoys me is your ignorance to the entire situation. You, Jeffrey, could have done something, but you didn't. That's the thing, you didn't. You are a part of allowing David Jesus Torres to walk a free man. Oh yeah, and also, to the people in my last video who wouldn't leave me alone by going, Oh, you pronounced his name wrong, you're such an idiot, ha ha ha. Even though I explained why I called him Jesus in the pinned comment sections, people still went on to recorrect me. Well, you're on my channel now, baby. That's comedy. What was behind that, and what was it that you actually said and meant in those tweets? Yeah, so, back in the day, there was a lot of crazy rumors about Davi. Um, there was never any criminal charges against him. He was never put in jail for, I know there was a one instance, um, but he never served real jail time. There was no uh, criminal case against him. So it was this, there was a moment when a lot of us in the music world were not sure what was really going on. So it was being in that moment of not knowing, really believing at all because it was very believable. But then at the end of the day, there was no proof. So yes, I tweeted out a lot of things. Did I ever see an actual sexual crime? Absolutely not. Did I see weird inappropriate behavior? Yes. Um, 
did I call him a child molester? Yes, because at the time I really believed it. I thought that what people were saying and the, and the weird things that were behind the scenes um, going on, um, that they were all true. Ooh, so what you're saying, Jeffrey, is apparently you lied. Well, well, why am I not surprised for some reason? Chris, people ask me all the time if I saw anything. I'm a billionaire. And I tell you now, absolutely not. I didn't see anything, even though I made those tweets. Even though I lied. I'm a billionaire. Then what the fuck are those tweets about? It's a, it's a very simple question, Jeffrey. For someone who's a billionaire, you're not very intelligent, are you? What also infuriates me a lot is how Jeffrey said, well, that's just what I believed at the time. Because at the time, I really believed it. What the f does that mean? What, are you hallucinating or something? Did you walk into the incorrect hotel room and saw two people having sex on the bed and thought, oh, I know, I'm gonna assume that's Davy Vanity, because everyone's saying bad things about him these days. Your words don't make sense. Now, what I also do find interesting is that a YouTuber known as Petty Page, in fact, uploaded a video talking about Jeffrey, where she showed some of the DMs that they shared together. And Jeffrey's defense to all these tweets and, and the whole situation is that Apparently, some of them were photoshopped. So, which is it, Jeffrey? And again, Jeffrey starts trying to take control of the interview by steering the conversation in different directions by saying some things like, well, yes, Chris, that's actually true. Something else I also want to talk about, which we're going to dive deep into, and I really want to get everything out there today, you know, Chris. Bloody hell. Huh? Chris Hansen's changed a bit, doesn't he? I'm actually going to look at some of the delightful things Jeffrey Star has done himself. Since he, you know, can just judge everyone, such as James Charles, James Charles. And I would love to know some of the things you've done, Jeffrey. See what I can criticise you about. I wonder what sort of other people you've lied about, Jeffrey. Why not uh, find out, shall we? Hi. Okay. Oh, so welcome, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dr. Don Valentine. And of course, we are here today to discuss Jeffrey Star. Well, Jeffrey, Jeffrey, Jeffrey. Doesn't drink alcohol. Never lies. What else, Jeffrey? You don't go to parties? <laughs> Is that what you're gonna say next? Well, actually, you did. Apparently, ladies and gentlemen, Jeffrey Star would always keep to himself. He would never go to parties. Would never be around drugs, alcohol, underage people. I guess, Jeffrey, <clears throat> due to all the lies you said, it can't be that credible of a statement. So I'm just curious, Jeffrey, to see if you lied about that as well. I guess now we'll never find out, of course. Or will we? And this person, you guys, can I, it's so dark. This person, their mother dropped them off at 11 years oh, old God. to hang out with ro rock stars oh, and party and drink. Man. I wasn't around that environment. Hi, you have Tov in the room. I've never, I don't party. I was always, I kept to myself and I did my own thing. Oh, of course, Jeffrey was lying. Of course he was. I mean, for a billionaire, Jeffrey, you, you aren't exactly the smartest human being on the planet, are you? But now, ladies and gentlemen, I thought we'd take a look at the Mom's Basement podcast and see all the things we can discover on there. So I'd like to start off when Jeffrey started discussing Davy Vanity. Of course, people are going to interpret that as you seeing that with your own eyes. Oh, of course. So ten years, so ten years later, I'm telling people. Did I see a crime or anything actual illegal? No. Other people did and told me that at the time. And then it was not proven, but it was convinced by him being a master manipulator and people that I trusted in our circle that said, no, actually, we've never seen anything. Oh, Jeffrey. You saw nothing. Absolutely nothing. It's what we believed at the time. Of course, we're gonna accuse people of sexual assault. It doesn't matter if we didn't see them and we all about. Huh? It's 2010. We can still make the statement. The one thing that did piss me off is when Jeffrey was discussing one of the Davy Vanity victims. Victim Jesse Slaughter, to be exact. Now, Jesse did in fact claim that Jeffrey Star apparently saw Davy Vanity making out with her. So, this, of course, sort of backed up Jesse's story. However, this is what Jeffrey had to say on the podcast. Oh Can I ask you a question? Have, have any of these victims um, come forward and s ha put you in a time and a place where yes. you would have seen? Yeah, him? one person has said that they saw me in an environment where they were alone with him and kissing, and I'm like, you guys, absolutely not. <laughs> oh, the beautiful world of Jeffree Star, where Jeffree Star discredits every single victim's story. No, no, I know it's not every single victim's story, but that was a vital piece of information right there. And keep in mind, Jeffree said he never saw it. He said he doesn't remember. Hmm, very shady things indeed. Now maybe, Jeffrey, you don't want to remember. I just find it really annoying how you just discredit it by saying, 
I don't remember these things. Why would I remember that? I met so many people. Why would I remember that story? I would never remember. Moving on, however, from the Davy Vanti situation, let's talk about James Charles. So if you're not aware of what happened with James Charles, he was actually accused of being a predator towards straight boys. Ty released a 45 minute video accusing James Charles of being a predator towards straight boys and completely slating him for 40 minutes straight. And the internet went wild. James Charles lost millions of subscribers. Everyone was buying Tati's stupid vitamins and everyone was happier than the day that James Charles, the booty guru of YouTube, has fallen. And Jeffree Star was also on board with this. He would tweet at James Charles's brother, aka Ian, saying, oh, your brother's a predator. And you could probably tell he was very on board with Tati. Until, of course, James Charles released his own video, debunking a lot of the statements that Tati had made. And that's when all the backlash turned on Tati. Jeffree Star, however, slowly faded from the scene. Of course he did, it's drama. You know, Jeffree Star's only there to take the shots. Once he's done that, he's gone. Oh wait, sorry, of course. Sorry, Jeffrey, you don't take shots. <laughs> <laughs> Comedy, that's right. <coughs> And then fast forwarding a bit, nothing was heard of this situation for a long time. Jeffree Star was, you know, starting to, uh, you know, licking ass on Twitter towards James Charles. Jeffree was really sucking up to James Charles only a couple of months ago. You know, this, this was quite recent. And leading up to now, ladies and gentlemen, when Keemstar asked a very simple question on the podcast, I can only imagine how Jeffrey responded to such a simple question. Is James Charles a danger to society? Is he a predator? Keem? <laughs> Uh, listen. That was a long pause. Long ass <laughs> fucking pause, though. I have to. I have to ask this. Uh, listen. I there's a long pause because it's a very complicated situation. It's a very complicated question. Uh, what do you mean it's difficult to answer? It's a simple question. Is James Charles a predator? Yes or no? Uh, oh no, Keem. Keem, Keem. <laughs> that's a very difficult question to answer. And of course, that's when Jeffrey said he has evidence in his pocket. That he has videos and DMs and receipts. But I'd just like to say one thing, Jeffrey. You claim that you've heard from close friends, people that are in your trust circle that James Charles is a predator towards straight boys. Didn't you also hear from people you trust that Davi Vanity was a predator? Um, told us a few things. And we trusted that person's opinion. And then another person said some things that was friends with that man. And it really convinced us that he was a predator. Is this another case of what happened before with the other guy. But it, this is exactly the same thing that happened before, right? It's, a, it's actually not. What? So if you want, we can pause and I can go in another room and play Banks, what I have on my phone, and he can determine if he would have sent the same tweet. But yes, Jeffrey, yes, it is the same thing. Whether you go in the back room and show FaZe Banks the receipts, it's the same thing. You claim back in the day that you heard some stories about Davy Vanity, so you made some awful tweets about him. And then of course, with the, the same with James Charles, people in your trust circle have said these things. All you have is statements from other people without evidence. Unless of course, like you claim you do, have evidence in your pocket, receipts that prove everything. But that's when I come on to this point, my friends. This tweet right here. Back in the day when all this was going down with James Charles, you said you had all the receipts to prove everything. Where were they then, Jeffrey? Where were those receipts that you never posted? Maybe, in reality, Jeffrey doesn't actually have anything. He just wants to be a part of all the drama. He claims he saw Darby Vanity, then switches to the story saying that it was photoshopped, then saying that apparently he didn't see anything at all. It was being voiced by other people around him that he trusted. James Charles. We never saw him do these things. We just heard stories from people we trusted. Shut the f up. Don't be so f stupid. You are literally infected with lies. You have lies over and over and over. Lie, 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 lie. Talk some real shit. Yes, indeed. Some very wise words there from our good friend, Dr. Don Valentine. However, I've spoken for long enough now. I don't want to keep you guys anymore. I imagine you have lots of stuff to do during quarantine. Perhaps things like following me on social media or subscribing to my channel. Maybe even, you know, joining the channel membership, which, you know, would be very ideal considering you all get a video a day early before everyone else. Doesn't that sound very interesting? Now, obviously, I'm just messing. Let's talk about Jeffree Star and the things he's done and the things we can criticize him 
for. So as we know, Jeffrey Star accused James Charles of being a predator towards straight boys. Which is quite ironic, Jeffrey, because didn't you make a music video called Straight Boys? Just some slight hypocrisy there, but also there's even this tweet. At Steven Struck, I like straight men, not gay boys, baby. Don't be a jerk. Well, damn. Quite a lot of hypocrisy going on there, isn't there? Doesn't really make you look good, does it, Jeffrey? Well, what's this? Who else is wondering how big Justin Bieber's dick is? 2010. That's lovely, Jeffrey. I mean, Justin Bieber was 16 at the time, and you were a 24-year-old man. I mean... All right, I guess. Don't worry, my friends, I'm not gonna keep you much longer. I'm not gonna make a big deal about the things Jeffrey has done in the past because, you know, they are in the past, but I feel like it's only fair to criticize him on the things that he's criticizing others for. I've had so many straight boys naked that I think I deserve a lifetime achievement award. Well, Jeffrey, talk about preying on straight men. You know what I'm saying? But you know, these are just tweets, you know, they aren't actually anything, you know, harassment or, or, you know, touching someone inappropriately. You know, nothing like that. I met How was your show? Oh. You're not, you're not oh, nice to I me. knew it was big. <laughs> That's real sweet, Jeffrey. That is fantastic. I mean, you must feel pretty good about yourself, you know, touching someone when they don't want to be touched. And the one final thing, Davi Vanti is a piece of shit and he deserves to be in jail clearly. Although, maybe trapped in hell is a better way to put it. But considering all these things that in the past, they might not have a lot of valuable sense to them. What I do have, however, is when these old Jeffrey Star tweets started coming out, what, what did Jeffrey Star decide to do, do you think? Yeah, he went on Twitter and started handing out money to everyone under the hashtag Jeffrey Star approved. Just to show how much of a, a golden angel he is, you know, trying to cover up the bad things with his good deeds, I guess you could say. Unfortunately, Jeffrey, it does not work like that. And I'm done with this topic, I'm sick of talking about Jeffree Stan, I'm sick about talking about Davi Vanity. Hit the subscribe button and go and watch some motivational speeches. You mad bro? Uh, yeah. I said tell me what you mad for. Uh, you mad bro? Uh.